Hi, it's Frank from Man Lake, and today I'm here with Eli Mendez, and he's a commercial pollinator out here in Florida. He's got a long history in the beekeeping business. We're going to find out a little bit about it. He's done a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I want to find out where you're at today and what you do. So tell me, Eli, what is the business that you do here in Florida? We're pollinators, Frank. We run several thousand hives. My brother and I were in business since we were kids. We lost our dad at a very young age. And after that, he he was in the sheetrock business and he lost a lot of money in the construction business. So he, he asked us to go into construction, to get out of construction and go into beekeeping where man's handshake still meant something. So we started that way. Um, unfortunately, we lost him at a very young age. I was 18, David was 16 when we lost him. He had one day at a open heart surgery because of a valve issue. And unfortunately, the, when they did the operation, he had a abscess in his tooth and that contaminated him. So we lost him. So we lost our best friend. We were two brothers and a dad and we just, we and we had about 30 or 40 hives when he passed away. So you were a beekeeper. He was well, a beekeeper at the time. He was just starting. We were just starting that because he, he lost his interest in the construction business because he lost a lot of money right. in the, the recession of the 70s. Exactly. That, that's a big jump from a man that has 30 colonies telling his boys to be commercial well, he liked the whole, the, the, he loved, he was a farmer by nature. He loved having a big garden and he loved bees. So we, he kind of uh, talked us into it and we had no idea what we're getting into. From there, we built a business over 20,000 hives. Uh, in my 30s, my brother Dave and I were partners and we were raising families and we were just two strong bulls in the same pen and we decided it wasn't working well. So I got out of the bees and started Tropic Trailer, which has been a very successful business for me. Which is bee trailer? Which is my bee trailers, I built bobcats for Dave and I. At the time, nobody could build bobcats, so we retrofitted bobcats for beekeeping for our own, and trailers for our own, own business. And we still do that today. That yeah. The trailer that I built 40 years ago, 35 years ago, I sell all over the country now. We got four of them going to California next week. Nice. So we build machines for everybody. So it's an interesting part of the business. I, I my. Business now, Tropic Trailer, as well as Tropic Honey Bee Farm. Tropic Trailer has a fab shop, so we fab, and there's nobody better to build equipment than somebody uses it every day. So, so beekeeper looking for a bobcat. I'm the guy. A bobcat, the guy. a trailer to haul a hummer bee, a swinger, any kind of loader. Yeah. We have this really nice trailer that locks itself. You don't have to lock it, yeah. so it works out really, really well. So it's been a good, it's kept me in the bee business after Dave and I separated when I started Tropic Trailer. It's kept me with lifetime friends involved yeah. in selling equipment. Then about four years ago, my granddaughter- I wanna to get to that okay. because you got out of the bee business other than the trailers and the bobcats. That's right. You were out. I was. And next thing I know, you're back. I, I, I said many years ago, I'd never be a beekeeper again and I'd never say never, okay? My brother Dave and I were just, were just two strong-minded people. And he, I just, we couldn't work. It didn't work out together as, as, as partners, as brothers, as, brothers, brothers, as partners, too strong personality, too strong personality. So that worked out. So I thought I never, so about four or five years ago, my da granddaughter was 10 at the time. Her and I took a trip to deliver a bobcat to Texas and Mississippi. And on the trip, I said, Elena, who was, she was 10 years old. And I, and, and I did that with her mother be, when she was about 10 years old, we went to California. And it was a great trip. And I said to Elena, I said, would you like to have a few hives of bees? So in my mind, I was going to have 100 hives of bees, teach my granddaughter how to be a beekeeper. And I got the fever again. I had no idea. There were some friends of ours who were selling some bees at the time. And 100 turned into 200, 200 turned into 3,000, 3,000 turned into 5,000. And now we're running about 10,000. So it, I just can't even believe it. It's been a fun ride. Really a great trip because all the people I'm seeing now were friends for 30 years ago. Right. Dave and I were in it so deep. We were kids. We were in our, we were in our early 20s when we started. So we were just kids. So I find it's a very tight community. It's a, I didn't realize how much I missed all my yeah. friends. And, right. and I really didn't have a lot to talk to them about. But now that I have bee issues and <laughs> drama and pollination and like Robbie Bell, for example, who's here in Florida, he was one of my foremen for years. Now I'm putting bees on his blueberry pollination. Okay, so we're, we're we're back to friendship. I, a lot of these guys worked for me over the years and worked for David. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a fraternity. Right. right. Speaking of that, you know, mm -hmm. think of all the beekeepers. You and Dave got into the beekeeping business. Oh, because God. They worked for you. It's hundreds, 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 hundreds. So, we, yeah. so with your business now, you're, you're primarily a pollinator. Right. 
We make a lot of honey. We bring bees to a lot. In the last couple of years, we bring bees up to Tupelo. We bring bees up to the Panhandle for, uh, for uh, tie tie and, and right. gallberry. We bring bees to Jacksonville. We bring bees to South Florida where we live in Fort Myers. Right. So we pollinate a lot of watermelons. We pollinate a lot of blueberries in Florida. We're sending thousands of hives to California this spring right. for almonds. So uh, we, I've, I just, I absolutely fell into the place that I was way that I thought I'd never be in again. It just, well, you, you it are just, where you're meant to be. I, right? I meant where I, where I'm meant to be or where I never thought I'd be again. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. So yeah. for the yeah. time being, you're in the bees again, you're not going anywhere. I'm loving it right now. Uh, looking at different options. I'm 60, I'm going to be 65 in April. So I can't do what I did when I was in my twenties. It was, a, it was a young man's game when I was in my twenties. And it was a hard game. And in your 60s, it's a little hard. I got some great employees, great help. Uh, we got a great network. We were able to buy a lot of equipment for a couple of friends of mine. Uh, Horace Bell and Ralph Gracky were two yeah. great beekeepers who decided to slow down. And I bought a lot of equipment from them. So it's given me, it's propelled me to get some equipment. I bought a lot of equipment from you guys. You guys have been fantastic to deal with. Yeah, so let me get one last question. Mm -hmm. Is your granddaughter still involved? She is, but she's into um, 4-H and school, and she uh, she helped me several weeks. She goes with me on trips, but uh, I uh, I grew up way too fast for her. She was I, I I hope someday that I can run about twenty or thirty hives for her as a hobby again, because I I I absolutely got the fever again. I never thought I would. Never say never is right. a, is in life, and. Uh, I just love the, the, the fraternity, I love the people, and I've got some great, great memories and a lot of hard work, like yeah. beekeeping is. And you never yeah. know if you like to get back into the business. You, you never gotta, know. You gotta never say never. That's the, that's the last, <laughs> never say never, never say never, no, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much. You thank you, thank pleasure. you. Thank you for the interview, and I hope it helps, okay? Yeah.